The answer is mono. Record in mono. Shortest tutorial I've ever done. <laughs> Great to see you. The question that I've been getting is should I record my vocals in mono or in stereo? Hang tight and I'll explain in as non an engineer way as possible. So I made a video called Recording Vocals in Logic Pro and I'll put the bubble thing up there. It generated a lot of discussion. Thank you for that. And if you haven't seen it yet and you need help setting up your Logic 4 recording, vocals especially, then that might be worth a look. The question of should I record vocals in mono or in stereo has come up and I've gotten sessions where people haven't quite gotten it right. And I just want to say if you're an artist or a producer and you're just starting to put things out or just getting ready to put things out, I've got nothing but respect for you for expressing yourself. Let me see if I can help you out. Jumping straight in, here's the key to success. It's this little button right here. So when it's in mono, recording a single source, you'll see how there's only like one input, input one, two available. If you go stereo, you see how they're in pairs. One, two, three, four. So here is a recording I just made. Yeah, the recording level's not good, but it illustrates the point. And here I am recording. So that's a mono track. Here's what happens if you record a single microphone, which is one input on a stereo track. It's gonna end up on one side, input one, or input two, the right side. So you get this. So here I am recording. When you record a single source, it should go onto a single track. And if you've done this, here I am recording. There is a way to save that and make it mono. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's jump over to recording of the living. Now, we actually made a three part series where we recorded, mixed, and mastered this. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a bubble up here. So here's his vocal, no processing, no nothing, just the recording of it. Two trips around the sun it took to so you can see from these meters it's still living in a stereo mix and i can pan it like this two trips going left around the sun going right two trips around up the middle the middle is a really good place for a vocal it goes out both speakers at the same time and it sounds like it's in the middle even though it's coming from speakers that are spread apart i want to show you something interesting listen to this two trips around the sun Put your headphones on if you need to hear this because it's it's important and then i'll take that and i'll duplicate it so these are duplicates i'll pan this one left and pan this one right now what do you hear two trips around the sun it's, it's exactly the same it's mono so the point i want to make here is you can't take the same recording duplicate it and go left and right it, that just is the same thing as mono to get stereo, you have to record two things or you have to record it on two microphones so the signal is a little bit different. So here's a background vocal, for example, and this is two takes. Two trips around the sun, it took two trips. Now you can really hear that that's left and right. We've got another harmony. We also panned that left and right. Two trips around the sun. And if we go back to this lead vocal, the lead vocal's in the middle, and in this case, different songs would be different, but this is how we structured it. Two trips around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. So that's how we get our mono in the middle and some stereo vocals going at the same time. Here's the same thing with guitars. So these are the acoustic guitars two different takes. I also did a segment on recording acoustic guitars. I'll put a bubble up there. So here's this. Now let me show you a couple ways that we do put stereo elements on mono recordings to spread them out a little bit. So the first one that's pretty normal is reverb. It might not seem super obvious, but the reverb is stereo and that's what gives you a sense of space. So I'll just turn it up as we go. Two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. So put your headphones on. You'll see that that spreads it out and that gives you the sense of a space or an ambience. The other thing that we typically do, and yes, there's a lot of stuff we could do, but I'm just gonna hit the high points. There's this plugin, we add chorus or doubling to it. So go to Waves, go to Greg Wells. This is not an expensive plugin. You wanna go to the mono to stereo voice centric. I use this one a lot, that's why I'm bringing it up. It's off here, I'll just turn it up as we go. Two trips 
Around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. That's a bit, a bit it stereo. It took two trips. That's too much. Around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. And that's something that we do just to make it sound thicker and to widen it. Okay, let's go back and save this vocal that was only recorded on one side. Go to your audio effects, go to imaging, go to Dur Mixer, Direction Mixer, Stereo, put this in the middle, the spread right in the middle, and so here I am recording. Away you go. Got a question or a thought or something to share? Put in the comments. I'd love to get a conversation going with artists, producers, beat makers about how to deal with this kind of stuff. If you've got some other ideas, share them with everybody so we can all learn from each other. See you guys later.